Hey YouTube fam, what's up? This your boy Ray Mac. Today we're gonna make us some North Carolina style vinegar based barbecue sauce. All right, so this recipe is definitely good and easy. So right here I have some white distilled vinegar that I'm adding to the Pyrex bowl. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some apple cider vinegar and I'm gonna put the exact same amount into this here measuring cup and then I'm going to add this to the Pyrex bowl as well. Now the full description and measurements is going to be in the description below. All you have to do is click on the show more section and you will get the full recipe for this here or check out RayMatsKitchenAndGrill.com. Now I'm going to go and add in some of this here Texas Pete hotter than hot sauce. I love the heat that this barbecue sauce gives out, so I'm just going to continue to add until the ancestors say stop. If you guys want to try this recipe using your own measurements, please do so. You cannot go wrong with it, all right? So the next thing I'm going to do is I got some of this here dark brown sugar, and I'm going to add this also to the ingredients. Now, after the dark brown sugar, I'm going to add some of this here black pepper, the coarse black pepper. I love this coarse black pepper because it shows off, you know what I'm saying? It stands out better than that fine ground black pepper. Then I'm gonna also add in some of this here kosher salt, all right? So with the salt, you can go heavy handed if you like, or you could just take it, um, take it easy on it if you want. It'll be your choice, your preference, but I'm still listing the amount in the show more section, all right? So the next thing I have is some red pepper flakes. You're gonna definitely need red pepper flakes in order to make North Carolina style barbecue sauce, vinegar based barbecue sauce. You can't make it without it, all right? And what we're gonna do now is just gonna go ahead and mix everything up. These are all of your ingredients. This is it, y'all. This is your complete North Carolina based barbecue sauce. When I tell you this is some good stuff, you've got to try it on your ribs, you could even try it on your chicken, it's awesome. You could do it on the grill, off the grill, um, cook anything in the oven. I'm telling you, if you try this here in North Carolina barbecue sauce, it's off the hook. Even if you try this on some pulled pork, some barbecued pulled pork, you would definitely love it. So now I have a clear glass container that I'm gonna store this um, North Carolina vinegar-based barbecue sauce in. And trust and believe me, y'all, this is worth this is worth making. And all you have to do is just put it into the fridge, allow it to um, sit for about a couple of days, or you could definitely go ahead and um, use it um, as you prepared it. But to get the maximum flavor, I say let it just sit in the fridge for a couple of days so that the flavors can come together. Now, after you've got your barbecue sauce prepared and I'm just telling you right now, look at the flavors up in here. Look at the seasonings. You remember those little um, Christmas ornaments that you used to shake around at your grandmother's house with the little snow snowfalls and all the other kind of stuff in it? This is how that glass looked. This is how, this is how it looked with, this, with the salt, the pepper, and the red pepper flakes. Now I have me some ribs that I'm cooking in the oven, and I'm using this here North Carolina um, based vinegar barbecue sauce on. And all you have to do is just mop these ribs every 30 minutes and i'm telling you it's going to be good y'all so give this recipe a try and i do believe you will love it and trust and believe me you won't just love it you will freaking freaking thank me for it no i'm just joking y'all but it's good it's really good so give it a try thank you guys for checking out ray Mass kitchen and grill get this video a thumbs up comment subscribe love and not hate love somebody and hate nobody i love you guys peace